I was out scrounging around the neighborhood for inspiration. Within half a block from my apartment, I found a wild mushroom in the grass and an advertisement for a psychic named Sarah. A call to Sarah revealed that she was in fact the real deal and that she, like me, had moved to Chicago from California. Palm readings for $10. I set up an appointment. Her house was one of those with a neon tarot card and palm reading signs in the window, the kind I never expected to enter. Her dog, a Maltese named Lady, greeted me with a bark. My intent was to record the reading, but Sarah didn't allow it. So I'll recount what she told me from what I can remember. She held both my hands in hers, took a deep breath, and cast my left hand away, leaving the right on the table. She glared hard at it for a while before telling me I'm going in a circle in my career and in my life, but that I'll live long. I will someday be financially stable, and I don't need to worry about that any longer. She said my friends are friendly to my face, but they talk badly about me behind my back. She said I toss and turn at night, and at three in the morning I am my weakest. She said I'm in love with a woman, and asked me her name. She assured me this is the one, that this girl is my soulmate and will be the mother of my children, but the distance growing between us will only get worse. If I let things run their course, I'll go from woman to woman without happiness, and she'll go from man to man feeling the same. As my mother suffered in love, and my grandmother before her, so will I, because the dark power of the wicked has cursed my family. For a low price of three hundred dollars, a pair of candles were burned for nine days. One in my bedroom, and one in a private room of a church. And for each of these nine days, she will visit the candle in the church at three a.m. Every this hour, to see the image of the message of the wicked, and after nine days, she will extinguish the negative force that falls on me and the candle in my bedroom will go out. She asked if I was ready to accept her help. I said I couldn't pay $300 for candles. She said she didn't believe me, that she knew I would be financially stable, and that if I refused her help now, the wicker would reach the surface. And after that, she couldn't help me. If I came back, she would tell me to go away. I asked why the candles cost $300. She, she said, said they're, they're special. special. Call them Wake Up the Flame. I said no thanks. Very well then, she said, and told me to make three wishes, keeping one to myself and telling her the other two. I wish good health for my family and friends, and for success in school. Keep the third wish to yourself, she said. This wish was for the wicked to go away without spending three million dollars. She said she would keep my wishes in her prayers. I said thanks. As I left, Lady barked at me again. She must sense the wicked, I said. Sarah laughed. Lady senses a lot of things.